Get your homework, get your homework, get your homework, homework time. Your homework says three add ends. Use a strategy to combine two add ends. Complete the addition sentence. Hmm. Now remember, we need to think of a strategy to combine these. Well, we can't make 10 here, can we? But sometimes it is easy to have a double. Or we could do the seven. We could do the four and the three equal to seven. But you really can use any strategy you want for this one, because none of them make 10 or five. Let's just do a double. Eight. Now, do you remember yesterday what eight looks like? One, two, three. Oh, I'm not supposed to count the top one, sorry. Five, six, seven, eight. Two are missing. Let's take two from the one. Eleven. Do you see that? Eight, we think in our brain, has two missing ones. Okay. We're gonna take it from the three. So we're gonna take two from three, one, bam, 11. Let's see if we were right. Let's see if eight plus three more is 11. One, two, three. Yep, 10, 11. There's my answer. Okay, let's slide over here to the next one. Four and three and seven. Well, hey now, I see a strategy. Do you remember? What do three and seven make? 10. So now it's easy. Cover up the zero. What's the answer? One, four. Four, teen. We're always trying to make 10. Always. Okay, let's go down to number three. Well, wonder what we could do to make this go fast. We could do, we could make five. Boop, boop, five. Now remember, five is on the 10 frame. It's the top rack, right? So if I do five and three more, what number is that? Eight. Mm-hmm. Now another way you could do it is you could do one and four are five and five and three is eight. You can do either one you want to do. Okay. Oh wait, that's what we already did. You could do, sorry, you could do four and three make seven if you wanted. And seven and one more is eight. But you always want to add two add ends first and then the last one. Can you see any that would make 10? Eight and two. Eight and two make 10. So then what's 10 plus seven? 17. Easy. So what strategies did you use to solve the three add-in problems? Let's read that again. What strategies did you use to solve the three add-in problems? Well, we used a 10 frame. We used the double add-ins strategy. We used the make five strategy. And we used the make 10 strategy again, didn't we? We used all kinds of strategies to get our answers. Let's slide down here. Write the number in each set. Complete the addition sentence. Okay, these are 10 bars, aren't they? Let's just double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Yep, 10 bars. And we have three sets of, three sets 
one, two, three, of how many in each one? Three sets of 10, right? So what is 10 plus 10 plus 10? Well, let's count by tens. 10, 20, 30. So we know that if we have three sets times 10 a piece, we get 30. Oh my word. I'm gonna need you to take that out of your head, you little sneakies. You do not know that three times 10 is 30. That is too hard for you. You cannot do multiplication. I'm so sorry, it's too hard. You can't do this. It's way too hard to go 10, 20, 30 and to do three times 10. No, 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 no. That's only the big kids. Don't you do that anymore, okay? Thank you. Now yeah, let's look at this one. We have three sets of blank books. Okay, let's see how many are in this set. Two, two, one, two, two. I could probably just scribble that out and write a two. Okay, so we have three sets of two books. Okay, so two plus two plus two. Well, let's just count by twos. Two, four, six. Bam. So we can just remember that three sets of two equals six. Oh no, not again. Boys and girls, please take it out of your head that three times two is six. That is far too hard for you. Just take it right out of your head, throw it away. You're way too little to do three times two is six. Okay, no more multiplication. That is it. Let's go down here. It says draw k to picture the story. Complete the sentences. All right. Mom had three plates. Yep, she does. She put three cookies on each plate. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. She put three cookies on each plate. How many cookies did she serve? Hmm, well, she's got three on here, three on here, three on here. So that is gonna be three plus three plus three more equals well, let's count by threes. Three, six, nine. Boom. Mom served nine cookies. Because if you have three and you do it three times, you get not. No. Not again, multiplication, not again. Every time I do one of these problems, there's multiplication. Please don't learn that, whatever you do. Take it out of your head. You're far too young to know that three times three is nine. It's too hard for you to go three, six, nine. Three times three is nine. It will hurt your brain. It'll bruise it, I say. Do not, do not remember that. Do you understand? Oh, it's very exhausting. Time, do you remember time? Hmm, remember, at the top of a clock is always zero, zero, where the time starts over. But if you do the tall minute man around the clock by fives, you get, it goes like this. O oh, five, ten, 10, then what, 15? 20, 25, 30. Now, you know who always wants to go first? The baby hand. Me first, me first, me first, me first, me first. Okay, okay. The baby hand wants to go first. What's he pointing at? Seven. And where's the tall man? Yes, he's at zero, zero. So it is seven o'clock on the dot. Now, let's go to this guy. Me first, me first, me first. 
okay, okay, the little baby hand is very, very fussy about going first. Now he's in between one and two, but he hasn't gotten to two yet, has he? He goes this way, do, 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 do. That's called clockwise. Well, he hasn't gotten to the two yet, so he's still at the one. Now the tall man is not up at the 12. He's at five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Remember, the baby hand can't count by fives. Only the tall man can count by fives around the clock. Hmm. So this one is 130. Let's check this guy out. Bloop. Which one would he, because it's the baby. Me first, me first, me first. Okay, okay, baby. You get to go first. Is the baby at 8 or 9 o'clock? It's between, but it has to be 8. It hasn't gotten to 9 yet. Now, tall man is allowed to count by fives. Zero, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So it's eight, 30. Okay, let's check this one out. Me first, me first, me first. Okay, okay, okay. The baby hand is on the five, the hour hand. And the tall minute man who can count by fives, he's all the way at the top of the clock. So it is five o'clock on the dot, isn't it? Okay, let's look here at number five. Now, number five. Me first, me first, me first, me first. Okay, okay. The baby hand wants to go first as usual. What's the baby on? 11, so we need to write 11 first. And the tall man goes last. What's he on? 12, but he counts by ones or fives. He can go around and count by ones or he can count by fives, but if he's at the top of the clock, that's zero, zero. It's a new hour. So it's 11 dot dot zero, zero, which means 11 o'clock on the dot. Me first, me first, me first. Okay, okay, okay. The little hour hand, the baby, wants to go first. Is the hour hand between 11 and 12? Yes. But which one is correct, 11 or 12? Well, we know that it goes around like this. Has it gotten to the 12 yet? No. So it's still 11. Now, the tall minute man is down here. Zero, zero, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 11, 30. Me first, me first, me first. Where is the baby? I can hardly see him. Oh, he's under the minute man. So what's the baby pointing at? 12. But the minute man is also pointing at it. You know what some kids like to write? 12, 12. Mm -mm. <coughs> when the minute man's at the top, it's zero, zero. Be careful. Don't write 12, 12. This is what 12, 12 looks like. It would be a baby on the 12 and the minute man at 5, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so it's 12 o'clock on the dot when it looks like that. Me first, me first, me first. Okay, baby, you get to go first. What do you think it is? If we start at the 12 and we count around, which hand, which number is right? Four or five? Four. It hasn't gotten to the five yet. And minute man, zero, zero. 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 4, 30. Good job. Okay, let's read these directions. It says, write the number represented. Circle the single cubes to make pairs. Circle even or odd. 
Okay, so how many tens? So we got tens and ones. How many tens do I have? One, two, three, four, five. Five groups of ten. One, two, three, four, four bibbas. But I gotta find out if they're even or odd, so let's give them buddies. You get a buddy, you get a buddy, you get a buddy. Yay, yay, yay! Everyone got a buddy, so it's even Steven. I don't like it when it's odd, but then again, you know that. So what is our number? 54. Let's see if it's right. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54. Ding, ding, ding. Okay, let's check this guy out. Tens and ones, save the day. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven sets of ten. That seven's really 70, though. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Plus, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six babies. They're just plain old six, though. 70 plus six is 76. Let's double check and make sure we did it right. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76. And then we got to find out if it's even or odd. You get a buddy, you get a buddy, you get a buddy. Hey, hey, hey. Woohoo! You know how I like even. Dun, 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 dun. 76 is even. Okay. Tens, ones. How many tens do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six. I have six sets of ten. But what's that six really worth? It's really worth six D. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty. Plus how many babies? One, two, three, four, five. Sixty plus five equals sixty-five. But now I gotta find out if it's even or odd. You get a buddy, you get a <laughs> <laughs> He's all out in the cold. Look at the baby. Oh, ho, 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 you poor thing. I would take you home if I could. Oh, no. It's odd. <laughs> oh, it's terrible. <laughs> oh, my mercy. Okay, let's go to number 12. Oh, it's terrible. I hope this one isn't odd. <laughs> Okay, so we got tens and we've got ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight groups of ten, which is really 80. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. And for the babies, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, 88. Now let's do the buddies. Ready? You get a buddy, you get a buddy, you get a buddy. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, now we've got some juggling to do. We have three, we have seven, we have ten. Now we need to put them in the right spots though, guys. We can't just go throwing them in houses where they don't belong. Now for plus, should I say that, hmm, ten plus three equals, so I did the ten, I did the three. Is ten plus three seven? No, you're right. That's not right. Uh -uh. <laughs> so 10 can't go first. For adding, 10 goes last. Because you have to add two littles to get a big. Just like you don't start out as a giant 10 kid and then add. No, you start out as little and grow. But when you're taking away, you have to take stuff away from your parents. You don't have much to give. Your parents, the big ones, go first when you take away. So we've plugged our tens in. When we're adding, the tens go last. When we're subtracting, the tens go first. Now I've put him where he goes, so now all I have to do is the three and the seven. Easy. Three plus seven equals 10, and then switcheroo. There we go. Three and seven is 10. Seven plus three is 10. They're all a family. Now, 10 minus blank is blank. 10 minus three is seven. 10 minus seven is three. 
。でててれてれてれててれてれて。So now we've got them all plugged in. Has anyone ever told you you look like your mom or your dad? You know why? You're related. These guys don't look exactly like this, but you can definitely tell they're related. Look, three, seven, ten, seven, three, ten, ten, three, seven, ten, seven, three. They're the same numbers, just all juggled around. That's why they are a fact family, just like we are the firsty family. Well, great job on your paper, firsties. I'll see you at reading time.